I got these glasses. They are vintage from a mom who used to collect them before she worked abroad she loved collecting glasswares like this one but when she started going uh, working abroad she said that she had lost the desire to continue collecting them and so now that she's back home in the philippines she she is selling all her glassware collection and i got three sets from her i think there are either five or six of this so they're okay are the glasses that we have unwrapped there are six of this but that one there at the back which i really really like because of that accent there at the stem there's only five pieces and i think this set i will be able to use in my daughter's table birthday table setting hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel zoe home inspired living if you're new here welcome my name is rena and thank you so much for subscribing today i was so very excited for today because we are going to set the table for my daughter's birthday and the theme is really unique um, it's my very first time to do a table setting with that theme. I got this shallow bowl or small plate uh, yeah, in January of this year. And I actually showed the unboxing of the, the package of the plates. And I really like the plates. There are five. These are hand-painted plates and there's a texture like it's embossed and it's hand-painted and then there's a mark at the bottom meaning it's really branded so this is a set of hand-painted shallow balls or small plates from japan and i was so inspired by this um design here i think this is an orchid so this will be the inspiration for the table setting it's japanese themed and um, accentuated by orchids i have a stash of japanese metallic fabrics there are different prints and i plan to feature them in probably japanese um, linens for placemats table napkins table cloths like that in a future video but for my um, daughter's birthday which is japanese themed uh, i cut this the background is very dark blue, midnight blue. And as you can see there, it has metallic gold accent. Okay, so I'm going to sew this into a table runner. What I plan to do is to not seam it um on the wrong side because it will be flat so what i plan to do is to fold it like this and then fold the other one like that and then sew it outside to create like thickness and also 
of course, uh, part of the design. So now I'm going to iron this flat. So I'm going to fold it about 0.5 inch all throughout. So I have folded this and ironed it flat. Now I'm going to put them together like this here and then sew it the whole length and then on the other side as well. Now here later on, I'm going to fold it like that also. So I'm going to leave out half an inch here for the end part so now we are going to sew So I have folded this. This is one end. And I also um, ironed it flat. Now I'm going to close it up. This is the Japanese fabric that I sewed into this table runner and it's double sided. I like this fabric because it's 100% cotton, it's quite thick and there's this gold accent on the print. This is metallic gold. So we are going to pick that up into the whole theme and use it um, scattered all over the table. And also, I think this is the cherry blossom branches. And we are going to pick up the colors from here, the whites, the blues, and the pinks. And also the very dark navy blue. We are using this live orchid plants, which my daughter picked up from the highway, along the highway, on her, her way home from UST, from the university. And the one, the middle there, um, these are fresh cut orchids from the market. only be uh, four settings on the table because we are four in the family and we don't have guests today so now we are going to set the table after putting in the center piece and we are going to use this native placemats they are called sinamai in the filipino language 
and they are woven like this look and they have this accent so i ordered them and we are going to use them today because i want to feature also the products of the philippines And then these are Narumi plates. Narumi is a Japanese brand. It's quite prestigious. They don't only have fine china, but they also have vases and painted ones. So that's Narumi for you. And look, it's fluted rims. And these are 10 inch dinner plates. And we are going to use them because they are Japanese brand. And these are the hand-painted plates that inspired this theme. We are going to put them on top of the dinner plates. Even though this is a Japanese themed table setting and we are really um, serving Japanese food like assorted sushi, but we also have Filipino foods being served tonight. So there's still this cutlery set and we are going to use two tone because of the gold one here, it picks up the gold from this um, table runner and also the gold in this brass candle holders. Now, because this is Japanese themed table setting, we have this super cute chopsticks and they are put into this origami envelopes. Oh, they are just so pretty. Look. So the chopsticks inside are made of wood and they have been washed, of course. And we are going to put them on the, our table setting with their origami envelopes. Look at this super cute and also very unique uh chopsticks rests and it's a japanese bow made of i don't know it's very hard but it's not ceramic and look at that the print is definitely japanese so we are going to put one on top of each pair of chopsticks like that. So these are the vintage glasses that I just acquired recently. They have been washed and they are shiny like this. I, I believe they are um, old stock but unused yes so this should pick up that green thing on this hand painted hand painted plate okay, 
these are the table napkins that I received as a gift from a very <laughs> beautiful subscriber. Um, they are mother and daughter, yeah? So we are going to use them today in our table setting. And now I have tied a jute rope around each one and just tied it like that into a ribbon. Now we are going to insert this fresh cut, fresh cut orchid like that. I painted this name cards in watercolor and um, I wasn't able to show you anymore when I made them because it was very late at night and there was nobody to set up my tripod and also the kids were not here yeah nobody would help me so there's no video clip for the making of this name cards but I did paint them with metallic gold pen acrylic pen and also this one um i believe that's cherry blossom a cherry blossom branch and i painted it in watercolor so these are the name cards and the plan is to put them here oh by the way these are japan japanese dolls there are two girls and two boys like this one so it's like yeah we are going to insert the name card here under their very yeah ornate robe so it will be inserted like that so this will be the name card and name card holder I'm going to paint on this stoneware these are small sushi plates and look they have stamps at the bottom I found sushi plates for my daughter's birthday table setting and it's stoneware it's rough with an inclined shape like that and then there's a gold band here it's really gold very shiny and i i really wanted that but it's already sold the whole set is sold so i found this and i'm going to paint on them and fire them in the oven 
I'm going to try three different um, metallic gold paints. This one I got from Amazon. This is the brand that I really use for all my paintings on canvas and also for bags. This is the Golden Open. This is quite expensive. Yeah. And this one I got from Shop Shopee. I use this for restoring antique candelabras or candle holders. And this one, yeah. I'm going to try them all. Which one is the best for this project? First, the Golden Open. This is very quick drying. This is very quick drying. That's why I paint straight from the bottle. Look at that. So this is the Golden Open. Wow, I like it. I like its performance. This one I got from Amazon and I have been using this gold for quite some time, but I haven't really analyzed or observed its performance. So we are going to try it on this glazed um, dish. this is not so quick drying look it's darker These metallic gold paints, acrylic paints, are non-toxic. So after firing in the oven, they should be safe to use even for food. Although, just to be careful, we are not going to... to set any food onto the, the paint although it's non-toxic like that but just to be safe so we are just going to put at the center so i am just designing this dishes randomly painting on them randomly i'm not doing it in a very strict pattern just lines like that bands They need not be uniform so that they are really homemade. So this is the Golden Open and this is the Arteza. Now we are going to use Focus. I'm going to put it here. The good thing about this focus is not only that it's cheap, but when you apply it, it looks like it's creamy and matte, but when it dries up, which is just in a matter of seconds, it is very shiny gold. Because I used this brush, which is a special effects brush, so there are lines on the paint now i'm going to use a flat brush which is the regular brush I'm going to try to refine the the paint um yeah those lines by using this flat brush the one that i used at first is a special effects brush with those lines but I think that I want to refine it like this. 
now it is it becomes more solid without those lines see the the lines the lines are disappearing with the use of a regular flat brush so these are the hand painted sushi dishes that have been glazed beforehand but the metallic gold paints is still stuck and i did a total of two coatings the all the second coating i used the focus brand from shopee so those of you who are local and are asking what i use i mentioned them here now i need to dry them for at least 24 hours before i'm going to bake them in the oven the longer that they dry the more that they become shiny as gold And lastly, last but not the least, are these dishes that I hand, hand painted and fired in the oven. Actually, they were baked in the oven. And here they are. They have been washed for use. The Again, I would like to mention that the paint that I used is non-toxic. So you can use it, yes, for food. So we are going to use them for serving the sushi. So now let's enjoy viewing my Japanese themed table setting. Just a simple table setting as you can see there's not much to uh, that we have put in but um the details yes the details are of course very important and also uh once again by god's grace i was able to put in my personal touch my handmade for example the handmade um name cards and also the painted sushi plates what else and also the my um table runner which i sewed so now let's enjoy viewing my table setting so i think that i was able to blend the colors that are included here like this one yeah i was able to pick up the gold the metallic gold into this hand painted sushi dishes and then also the white and blue flowers the cherry blossoms were picked up here in this hand painted plate the blues the the dark blues and the light blues here and also the whites and then into this this hand painted orchid into this fresh cut orchid for as a table as a napkin ring and then those colors of this one the ribbon and of course our very cute Japanese doll as um name card holder there you go so again there's that gold metallic gold accent the names and all around it so cute and of also this 
native placemats here and those native baskets as um, planters that we used for these orchids. And then also the green glass matching with the green table napkins and that green on that hand painted plate. We discovered something about this um, origami envelope for the chopsticks. Uh, this, this is actually a toothpick. It's like the head of this Japanese lady but when you pull this out this becomes it it's the toothpick actually so after you have eaten you can pull that out and use it Thank you so much for watching and for spending your time with me today. I hope that you have enjoyed today's table setting and also that I have inspired you to come up with your own themes and whatever that the, you your heart is desiring to create. Yes, to make you happy even for whether, uh, whether special occasions or just for every day. So I will see you on next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It will greatly help my channel. So see you next time. Thank you. Bye. God bless.